Okay, so now we're going to add shading to make these uh, boxes look like they're real. So the first thing we want to do is make the lightest gray possible on the outside edge. So notice I'm holding my pencil way back here. I'm going to go very light. Try and make it as even as I can. All the way around the outer edge. If you accidentally go outside, you want to erase that. If you take a Kleenex, when you're all done, fold it down into a little square, bend over a corner, making a point. You can blend some of that together. making it blend together, okay? I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna do that to all of the squares and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them all shaded lightly um, and I blended them with my tissue. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna get a piece of paper, any piece of paper will do. I'm gonna put it down on my paper and I'm going to put my hand on top of it. The reason I want to do this is that all that gray will get on the back of my hand if I don't have this piece of paper in the way. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dark gray to the side of all my boxes. So notice where I'm holding closer to the tip of my pencil. I'm going to work around the edge. Not really going for black, I just want darker than I already have on there. I'm gonna try and make it as even as I can. Okay, so if that's the side, that means that's also the side of this box, but not here, that's the bottom. Very carefully working my way around the edge. Because I'm putting this on dark, there's really not a good chance that I'm gonna get this to uh, erase if I go outside of my space. So I gotta be super careful. Notice I'm also trying to shade in the same direction over and over again. That's gonna reduce some ugliness to the image. It's just gonna make it look prettier if all your shading goes the same direction. Okay, so that's one box. We're gonna leave this, the, the top, the inside top, all, we're gonna leave all those white. So the front is gray, the side is dark gray, and the tops are white. Okay. Move on to my next box.
can't really stress enough how important it is to go along the edges. Get yourself a nice dark outline so that you sort of have a border or a fence of, of dark gray to stay inside. All right. So I've got a second box done. I'm going to push pause. I'm going to do a few and then I'll show you some more and then I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done a few more. And again, I'm working the dark on the inside and on the outside, but it's all that side wall. Um, looks like I realized I just I missed this one. Working that outside edge. couple tips when working with this one this piece of paper here is so important if you don't have this paper under your hand you're gonna make a huge mess all of your paper and it's gonna look like all just a mess it's just gonna look terrible and you don't want that so keep your hand on them don't just have the paper you actually have to keep your hand on the paper uh, two we did that blending thing with the tissue, uh, with the light gray. You can do that again with the dark gray, but because there's more graphite on the paper, it tends to make a bigger mess faster. So if you can get it blended evenly with just your pencil tip, I recommend that you do that. But if you wanna use the, the tissue, you can, and then go back and clean up any mess ups with your eraser. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna push pause and then I'm gonna finish it. Okay, so I got it finished. Uh, got all the shading done. Again, shading's on the side, on the inside. It's uh, dark gray, light gray on the tops, white on the, the third side. Uh, hopefully you, uh, can do the same to yours.